Hey guys, welcome back for another video from TDL DIY. So, uh, this one should be a very, very quick uh, one, hopefully, maybe, we'll see. Uh, so I'm not sponsored by this or whatsoever. We're gonna be installing uh, a doorbell, a wireless doorbell. Uh, so we're gonna put the little box up here and uh, it's, it's wireless. It's wireless, we're gonna mount it up on the, the wall, hopefully, if we can mount it. And then uh, we're gonna put the doorbell up front and the wireless one out back. And hopefully there's batteries because I didn't bring any. So uh, today's video is sponsored by Honeywell. Just joking, they're not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Um, so we're gonna give this uh, doorbell a try out. It might be, uh, it's a three series by Honeywell Home Portable Wireless Doorbell. So this is what this guy's all about. And here's back back shot of it. So that's, it could do a couple, it's got four tones, um, nothing too crazy, but we just need a doorbell that worked because the one that we currently have does not work. So, uh, and it was wired and to get another wired one actually costs more than this one. Uh, this, this one here I think was $30 plus uh, for an extra button, it was an extra 15 bucks. So uh, not too bad. Um, so let's let's open this up, see what we got, and uh, let's get installing this thing. So apparently this is good for up to uh, 250 feet from uh, the doorbell to uh, the buttons. I don't know, it seems quite a little ways, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check it out. So that's what we got here going on. Some instructions, I'm sure it's simple enough. We probably don't need it. Ah, of course, didn't give us batteries, I don't think. And I probably need them. Oh, oh, there's a battery in here. Yep, one for the doorbell. Nice. Uh, some screws and stuff like that. Some double-sided tape. Thing needs probably four or so AA batteries. Uh, yep, four LR6 battery. Yeah, just looks like a AA battery actually. This was is back here. AA or LR6, 1.5 volt. So we need four of those. I don't have any right now. So uh, we're gonna put a pause on this video because uh, we don't have it. So, but what we might do is we might just throw a screw in the wall right over here, get this thing hooked in and uh, placed, get the doorbell on, and then uh, we'll see about batteries afterwards. So I believe this is where the battery's gonna sit. Wrong screwdriver. Pop that baby open. You know, if it gives you this little battery, why don't they just throw in another battery? Like, uh, I don't know, I would have paid five dollars more probably for them to throw in four batteries. But I get it because a lot of things don't come with batteries, so no big deal. Uh, plus, uh, it looks like it's up. Sure, there's a way to sync this stuff up, but we will uh, give this a whirl. Read the instructions afterwards. All right, sounds done. Easy. Um, let's get this bad boy opened up. Hopefully, this one gave a battery. Gives us a battery as well. If this battery, if this uh, doorbell is actually really loud, then we're gonna probably do the same thing in my house because my doorbell sucks. So, all right, same double-sided tape. Same doorbell, they give us a battery, so that is awesome. Oh, they give us a nice plate on this. Oh, yeah, there's a plate on that one too. 
And this one here, that's how I figured it out, is uh, we're going to open this thing and then pull it up. So, there we go. Simple. Let's get our little battery in here. Battery installed. Comes with this nice little thing, so if you don't get it into the drywall, if you go in straight into drywall, you put this thing in, drill a hole, punch it in, and then this thing, the screw goes inside, peels those things up, and it kind of sticks in there nicely. So let's uh, go take a look at where we're going to put this thing. So that's what I suspect, because that way you can see the buttons underneath. And you can do that, and that's probably where it's going to sit. And we'll make sure we get that painted up. So I'm going to put you guys down, and we'll get this thing installed. All right, so we're going to take our screw, put it somewhere in the middle here. You know what? I like power tools. Let's go give it a drill. Alright, got a drill now. So I think that was somewhat centered. There we go. We got our, uh, I think we might have to put it in a little bit more. Nope, nope, there we go. We just need it a little bit tighter. There, looks not too bad. So, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> it's going to be a two-part video, not really. Uh, so we're going to get you uh, rolling here pretty soon. But tomorrow we're going to bring some batteries. We're going to put the four AA batteries in there, and we're going to try this thing out. Make sure it all works, get the buttons put in, and Bob's your uncle. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you tomorrow. All right, guys. So it's the next day, we got our batteries, I'm gonna throw them in. Well, that one's not too bad. The one before it just sounds like a cell phone, so I'd rather not do that. Probably do that. And all you have to do is press the little tone button and to program our um, doorbell. We're gonna hit this button. I think we hold it for a couple seconds with the with the button. Uh, I'm gonna go grab a button and be right back. All right, guys. So they make it pretty easy. You're just gonna uh, hold this hold this uh, settings button down and then hit this. So. So that was the first uh, thing. Now we just gotta make sure it works. Perfect. It's that easy. Now we're gonna do one more thing, and that's we're gonna put it up on the wall. I'm gonna go hit the front doorbell, and we'll see uh, if it works from that distance. It should because it says it's good for 250 uh, feet, but uh, we just wanna verify and make sure everything's good to go. Alright, so, dig in, slide it in, there we go, so it 
it's installed. And we'll take it off and we'll, we'll paint and stuff. But so it's installed now. We'll go push our button. We'll get our button pushed in. And let's see if we can hear it. Perfect. guys that works and it's very very simple very simple after you get the batteries in hold that hit the button and it like links up or syncs up to each other and we got the back door one already done we just got the front one and everything works beautifully so uh, I think we're gonna leave it there we can always move it uh, you know we can it's almost small enough we can put it like right here or, or somewhere here so you can hear upstairs and downstairs uh, so when my wife gets back um, it won't be on the video, but we're just going to make sure we can hear it upstairs. But it sounds pretty loud from here, so I think there'll be no issues uh, with hearing that. I might even get one of those and put it in my house because my doorbell isn't very loud, and that actually sounds decently loud. So, all right, that's everything, guys. Uh, if you guys want to know how to install a doorbell from Honeywell, uh, this is the 3 Series, and I got the extra button. This is how you do it. And if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see other stuff, we're doing renovations to this house, uh, this rental property, and we're doing small little videos of how to install certain things, doorknobs, doorbells, smoke detectors, um, all sorts of things. We're going to probably do one on uh, this fan here. That's uh, the fan for your bathroom or whatever. Uh, we got ones on first, my first time using a crimp tool for plumbing, for Plex. Uh, we're using a, a Plex A in this house. Uh, in my house, I have Plex A and B. So it kind of gives you ideas of different things you can do and uh, different little tutorial videos. They're gonna be fairly short and you'll also see some of the building process or um, laying the floors and painting walls and some other stuff like that uh, to this house. So stay tuned, there's gonna be lots of content and uh, thanks for watching guys. Feel free to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget you can leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, never stop learning.